everybody welcome back to talk with naya so ice spice is coming through her song boys a liar part two with pink panthers 2 debuts on billboard hot 100 at number 14 which becomes her highest charting entry so congratulations to her now speaking of ice spice she also shares that she has new music and new visuals on the way listen to this New music. I am. That's loading. New singles on the way. New verses on the way. And tune in to Voice Wire Part Two. Can't wait. Congratulations. Thank you for chatting with us. Thank you. Thank now let's bring Bia to center stage because she is accused of stealing Ice Spice's flow after she released this clip of music. Listen to this little clip. What do you mean when you give me your word? I want our future to be as a hers. I cannot bring them the things I deserve. You tell me right and I saddle up. Wait. Now, what do y'all think about this? Because when I listened to it, I said, oh, wow. It does it does sound like Ice Spice. And why, why did she go in this direction? I mean, I thought it was very interesting, but I'm curious to know what you guys think. Now, let's move on. We spoke about Rihanna performing at the Super Bowl. If you didn't catch that video, go back and watch it. And she did that performance for free, apparently. And she also gained over 833% in searches for her Fenty Beauty brand after she promoted it during her halftime show. Now, Riri also drew in 118.7 million viewers, which was 5 million more than the viewers that was tuned in for the game. So Rihanna brought everybody out there to watch that Super Bowl. What did you guys think about the performance? Because some people were here for it and some people weren't. But what did you think? Now, Rihanna also did an interview and a photo shoot with British Vogue where she shares that, you know, she wants to put out an album this year and she wants to just have fun with it. Now, she also shared with them that she was offered to do the Super Bowl every year for the past 10 years, which is crazy. I thought it was just um, in 2019. She was offered for years and years. OK, but let's circle back to the album thing. The fact that it's all these rumors. Oh, Rihanna's going to announce her album at the Super Bowl and all this other stuff. And we didn't get that. We just got her being pregnant, which congratulations. That's a great thing. Rihanna is like, I, I feel like at this point, you're kind of toying with your fans a little bit because you're now you're saying in British Vogue, you know, you're going to put out an album. And you've been saying this for years. Why don't you just say, you know what? I'm going to focus on being a mom and focus on my other businesses. Like, just say that. And then when you're actually in the studio, recording and you have like a song list like you got a good 10 songs that you know you definitely want to put out there then start talking about the fact that you're putting on an album in the current year i think it's just a little too soon to put that out there because your fans are going to keep getting disappointed now if that isn't enough about rihanna and all the things she got going on and the accomplishments rihanna SZA, taylor swift and adele are the only female artists to reach number one on the global Spotify charts. So congratulations to these ladies. Now let's move on. Let's talk about Lotto real quick. So Lotto has a new song coming out on Friday and she revealed the cover art for the song and the song's called Lottery. So what do you guys think about the cover art? Are you guys going to be listening to her song? Are you guys still supporting Lotto, especially with all that mess she had with Nicki Minaj? She lost some fans with that. Are y'all still supporting Lotto? You know that there's this, there's this competition people are putting her in with Ice Spice. What are y'all feelings on that? Now, rumors are swirling that Haley Bailey is pregnant after she released her Valentine's Day photos. Now, take a look at the pictures. What do y'all think? I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Now, we recently did a video about the drama she was in with Ruby Rose and DDG. Go watch that video if you missed it. And they had this drama on social media, but she tweeted best V-Day ever. So it looks like her and DDG are still together despite the whole world seeing that DDG was reaching out to his ex, Ruby Rose, in Instagram DMs, okay? But Ruby Rose also tweeted, you know I effing love you, which is her song lyric, but the timing is so off, like so off. In other news, Haley is still promoting The Little Mermaid and the new extended trailer was just released, okay? So, <laughs> go watch The Little Mermaid. Some people think that DDG, they're saying DDG is gonna hold on to her until May 26. I think that's the release date of the movie. It's just, it's just a mess, okay? It is just a hot mess. So, what do you guys think about that? That is all I have for today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.